Uh, today's video, one, has Isun, who's probably going to be trying to get my attention as much as possible. Oh, kitty cat. And it's actually kind of about Isun, oddly enough. So, he's actually directly under where you can see trying to get my attention. So, I, probably a month or two back decided to buy, I, I was looking on things that were on sale and found an extremely cheap webcam. And I wanted to use a webcam for Kitty Cam. Kitty Cam, for those of you that may not know, is my camera software, software, it's really just VLC running. Um, it's camera software running for uh, recording my cats. So I wanted to get a good camera rather than these random webcams that happen to be lying around and not have to have a computer connected to each one of the cameras. Are you done, quite done, Nissan? Um, so looking around, I found a really cheap Internet of Things webcam straight from China. The website's Chinese. Uh, they have an English page. I just mean it's hosted in China. Um, that had all the features I wanted. I wanted a camera that could do night vision, so I wouldn't have to adjust things during day and night. Could be controlled via computer, so I can pivot and turn as needed. And had a network jack, so I wouldn't have to rely on Wi-Fi. The most important part is that I wanted to make sure I can secure it. Because, let's be honest, a camera that claims excellent quality is probably not going to be the best quality in the world. I mean, seriously, this box is hilarious. Let me show you some of the things on it. So these are the features of the camera. We've got CMS, H.264, motion, audio, mobile. It's intelligent because it has an analyze system, according to this. It's HD. That's the feature called megapixel. IE is apparently a feature of this. View 20M under audio, again, there's two audios and daylight. So this camera is so awesome. It has its own daylight So this is the camera. This is an S cam G02 according to the back which includes the handy dandy default username and password This is a Internet of Things style camera. That's not actually reliant on cloud-based services uh, It has an Ethernet jacket obviously has Wi-Fi um, it's ABGN, so it can handle 5 gigahertz. Um, it actually has what it calls a TF, or trans flash. Um, it's actually now called micro SD card slot. And it has micro USB for power. This thing pivots, turns, whole nine yards. But this is supposed to be internet accessible. And no, I am definitely not going to be having a camera linked directly on the internet. I think Isun's having a hairball. One moment. The point of this video, for me at least, is that I want to make this camera work without it touching the internet. So I have a couple of things here that I can kind of share with you for stuff I'm working on to try to get this set up. Uh, I should note, I have only plugged this in to make sure that it powers on. I have not actually touched the management. I actually haven't connected it to any type of network whatsoever. So. We'll see how all this works, shall we? Um, where's my phone? I should record my little setup over here. So, there's a couple of stages to the setup. I have, well, here's the camera that I'm talking to. Here's the microphone, so you can hear me. Because my camera's mic isn't all that great. Might be swapping back and forth because there's a bunch of background noise. I have a router here. This router has Wi-Fi disabled, so it's just a normal, ordinary gigabit router. Uh, this router, by the white cable, is plugged into this laptop. This is the laptop I set up yesterday, for reference. Um, I haven't really done much with it other than finish setup and actually install the correct video drivers, because I didn't have those before. And those are needed for this blue cable here. This blue cable, if you follow it around, which it's hard to see, but it basically goes to here. It's a VGA to DVI-A cable for my video capture device, so I can record the screen over here. That way, you can see everything going on. Also, there's a light right there. 
um, the light's off, so you have any chance whatsoever of seeing it. Ignore all the rest of the clutter on the desk, or on the table. This is just because, well, I'm terrible at cleaning up. And back. So, what I'm going to be doing is attempting setup of this. Real time. Um, where did I... I had my power cable. It must have slipped down. Let me grab that power cable really fast. One micro USB cable, and it's fairly long, so I can move things around. So I'm going to go ahead and power this on now. Uh -huh, I will defeat you, USB superpositional theory. It has power, but it takes a while to boot, if I remember correctly. Okay, here, stuck in it. Now I can hear it. Yep, there it goes. Keep in mind, I still haven't done anything. It's just calibrating. So it swishes all the way around in every direction possible as far as it can go. So it can figure out its bounds. That way, if you move it around while it's off, it doesn't try to break something by pivoting further than it can. And it makes that noise. I think that's the noise that it makes when it doesn't have any type of network connection. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the router. No, do not turn off screen. Uh, okay. And plugged in. There's link lights. This is a gigabit router, so it will actually work. And let's see if I can give it an IP address. So switching to the computer really fast. This is my router's config. Let's go ahead and view the list of things and it has two IP addresses. This is the IP address of the laptop that I'm using right now and this is the IP address of the webcam. So I'm going to assume that I need to go to this IP. Now to give you an idea of just how um, really crappy and cheap this camera is, their official website for downloading the G2 software links to Mega. This is the official website. This isn't anything else. There's the guide JPEG. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Preview. Uh, let's, might as well just download everything. We have plenty of space. Right, go ahead and open and let's zoom in and take a look at this lovely guide this shows you how to do things via the app which I am totally not going to use because hell no this thing does not get onto the internet thank you very much which admittedly controlling this via the app would probably be a lot better maybe at some point I'll end up using an Android emulator for it but for now this thing is not going to touch the internet at all ever so we have the user's manual here, which will be really nice for us to have. Apparently it's an HIP2P, so high peer-to-peer -peer IP camera. How is this peer-to-peer? -peer? The CMS of IP camera is used to realize all front and network video monitoring devices, including network video server IP camera, centralized monitoring, storage, management, and control. The management software can ma manage max 96 front end network monitoring devices, can set and control any device and other functions, can support 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, 16, 25, 36 pictures display on one screen, and two way voice talk back, logs retrieval, and other functions. So, this will actually let me talk back to my kitties. With powerful function, friendly interface, and simple operation, it is convenient for users to realize networking applications for large-scale remote network monitoring system. So, let's go ahead and go to the logon and instruction. Well, this is for after the software is installed, so let's go ahead and install that software. I'm going to go ahead and start the download of the manual so I can only have things open once. Also, I love how the search tool is a RAR file. So if I remember correctly, this search tool is actually uh, standard download is fine because I actually have 7-zip installed. So you got to love it when a software company is officially releasing their things as a RAR file. 
go ahead and download that as well. Out of curiosity, open that RAR file. Oh, right, I haven't file associated things yet. So let's go to downloads. Yeah, I have not done anything to speak of. Right click, 7-zip, open archive. So let's go ahead and install this setup. So I think all this program is supposed to do is search out for any cameras that are on your network, which, okay, that's fine. This install is only going to be used for this. Um, eventually, I'll probably migrate this to a VM, but I wanted to see what this was like with actual hardware before I add complication. This wizard will guide you through IP camera easy setup. Yes, you can allow access to this. Oh, also, you know get internet. As it finds jack squat. You know what? Cancel that for now, and I will give this back internet. And we shall go grab the actual application. I should have done that before turning off interwebs. So, download, standard download. I'll just open that up in another tab. Oh, mega. <sighs> All right, save the setup. And let's go ahead and run it. Camera's still staring at me. Stare. Let's set this up in English, please, because my Chinese is probably worse than any other language. Well, no, I can probably find some languages that I don't know any words of, but I don't know too many words in Chinese. All right, so this is the client. Let's open up the client. Yes, I will allow you to have access via the firewall. Also, I'm disabling Wi-Fi. Because again, I'm being properly paranoid. So, this is the IP camera interface. So the first thing I want to do is log in. No, no, it's not. It, that actually is the password. It is literally written on the bottom of this, and it says admin on it. And no, I have not set this up before. So I'll go ahead and cancel. Let's, how do I change this? So add camera. Password is not wrong. Log at user logs config. Oh, apparently it's the password for the program, which is blank. I... Modify area? The area can't edit! Modify area? The area still can't edit. For shame. Okay, so let's add some devices. Maybe. I think this program already locked up. The time's still going. Nope. It's just being really slow. Okay, what's Windows think you're doing? I mean, I'm basically treating this thing like a virus, let's be honest here. Not doing much. Also, I think this only has four gig of RAM, and yesterday I said I had eight. I forgot that I lost a stick of RAM a while back. Well, I hope Editor Me is happy with all of this. This is a lot of work for Editor Me, though. Okay, I just want to add my own camera. How do I add my own camera? Let's take a look at the manual. Ah, uh, really? Okay. CMS detailed instruction. Yep, default username is blank because, you know, security. Who needs that? Okay. I just want to know, okay, so the multi-image tool is that thing. Let's 
this button. I want one for the time being because I only have one camera at the moment. Oh, um, the reason why I'm doing this now is that I'm going to be leaving on a trip uh, one week from today. And if this works, I want to get in enough cameras for each of the kitty rooms so I can see them while I'm out of state. Uh, if this doesn't work, I want to know as early as possible so I can figure out what else to do with this weird camera. Logs. Okay. Device management. And? And? Search? Does anything work? Input UID. I'm going to guess here. I still have this open. So it's .10.206. Kitten camera. Add. Add. Search. Click all. Automatically had devices. Briefly. Kitten camera is claimed to be offline. Connect device. Invalid UID. Okay. So that's not the UID it's talking about. Let's see what it might be talking about. Add device. Search to add device to LAN. Okay, UID is not that. The UID is something else. Ah, it's on the side over here. Okay, let's try this again. So let's go back to settings. Modify device. Okay, uh, delete device. And then add new device. Delete device. Then add. Input UID. Okay. So UID is I I I I three two eight three four six. I'm sure this would be dangerous for me to say out loud if it weren't for the fact that this won't be internet accessible. A F E D A. Um, kitten cam. Connected online. Okay. And full display device. Quality max. Are you going to do anything whatsoever? I only need one. Drag and drop. Current screen, kit and cam. It works! Woo! Bit of a delay. About one second? Yeah, about one second. Okay, so now I want to control it. That's full screen, that's not control. Okay. How do I control it? This is how I would talk. Talking. Talking, talking, talking. Right, I don't have a sound device on here, do I? Do I even have the microphone working on this? Yes, I do. Hmm, okay. Right, in theory, this will control. Yep. That works. Let's get it to point at me, because I'm cool. Hi! Okay, so let's full screen that, because it's a weird aspect ratio on the screen, if you didn't notice. Hi there. This is a weird delay. Okay, so this part works. Um, I want to try this elsewhere too, but that requires me to get up and unplug everything. This worked a lot quicker than I was expecting, which is good, because I don't want to have to deal with too much of this. Now, what I want to do is figure out if I can just use VLC to record. So let's go ahead and close this for now. Yes, I am sure I want to exit system. There's an exit screen, really. 
Okay, um, in theory that I should be able to, let me just turn back on Wi-Fi. Uh, in theory, oh, just in case I'm unplugging network, the wired network. Uh, in theory, I should be able to use something like VLC to be able to view things. I won't be able to control anything that way, but I'd be able to view it. So I want to see what happens. Yay, quick internet. I upgraded my intar tubes this morning. Or had them upgraded, I should say. Yep. I'm sure this sounds good. I mean, again, this laptop's only being used for this purpose. Um, so this actually seems fairly easy, and if this is the case, I might be picking up a few more of these. Because, again, it was 20 US dollars or something like that. I That's a great price, because this is a 1080p webcam with night vision and everything. So my test is actually going to be generating darkness to see if I can get night vision going. But I first want to have VLC run. Okay, VLC's on. Minimize that. Plug this back in. I've already forgotten the IP address, so it's you list that two oh six. Media Open Network Stream. In theory. Nothing's working yet. It did ask for a username and password, so it definitely hit something. But it's not re giving me any display whatsoever. This isn't my laptop frozen or anything, it's just not opening. I don't suppose it's that, is it? No. That's not too surprising. What happens if I visit this from a web browser? I know Edge isn't supported, but let's find out. Welcome. How about English, please? Welcome. PC view. Broken link. And that is because it is IE only. So let's try this in IE. Uh, yeah, you don't. Oh, you actually do have internet access. How dare I? Wow, their security is terrible. It doesn't even prompt for a login if you go to that page. Also, it's not working very well. Hmm. That's weird, because it was definitely working right there. Oh, it just popped up behind, because Internet Explorer is a garbage product. Again, I'm, these passwords will be changing once I'm done setting this up. And again, this won't be touching the Internet anyway. The emergence of the page shows you do not have this ActiveX control. You have it installed, but you need to. Oh, boy. They want me to install an ActiveX control, and they don't actually have a copy of it locally. I'm going to go with no. Yeah, I'm just going to use the application. That's scary enough as it is. I don't need an ActiveX plugin on top of everything else. So, okay. So, final thing I want to do. Unplug. Turn back on wireless. So the last thing I want to do is check to see how I can potentially. Um, yeah, you can see I was just trying to install the drivers that took forever, and Windows Update eventually just installed them. Um, try to see how to do this in VLC. So one moment. E scam instead of S cam. Good job. Oh, it's RSP protocol. Okay.
anyway. Oh, I have this working, which is kind of shocking to me. I was not expecting this to be this easy. Um, with the IP camera software, I should be able to have it record, so I'm going to try that really fast. Uh, well, hopefully this will this video will get edited down quite a bit more than what it is right now. Because, I mean, frame rate-wise, this is a lot better on the iSpy software. And it's only about a second or so laggy, which is not bad at all in my mind. Um, let's see. Record button is here. Also, volume. Testing. 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 Ah, that's probably just the microphone's not working properly. Because I don't have drivers for jack squat on here. So, record. Um, record. Record. It's not recording. Okay. Maybe there's something in configuration. Capture format. JPEGs or bitmaps. Good job. Uh, user management. Record or record management. It's an interesting way of handling it. Uh, let's see parameter settings. So the default is 720p. It's defaulting at 60 hertz. That definitely needs to be 50 hertz. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, 720p is actually fine to be honest. You know it's supposed to be 1080p. Mm, let's do 30 frames per second. Image quality, let's get it high. Camera name is, I'm gonna call this Zone Kite. Setting success. Um, in theory, I can have this record to the local SD card, but I don't want it to, because I don't intend to plug one in. This would be where I can tell it to do Wi-Fi. Out of curiosity, does it even see my Wi-Fi properly? I'm not going to connect it to my Wi-Fi for reference. Yep, it sees it. So, um, Nia, Basement Cat, and Ceiling Cat are all my Wi-Fi's. And I'm thinking that this is five gig versus 2.4 gig. Anyway, I don't want it connected to Wi-Fi. Also, time zone is not in fact Beijing, Singapore, Hong Kong. It is US Central Time. It is currently summertime. Go ahead and time sync. Uh, okay. Yep, you can restart the device. The device isn't restarting. Oh, now it is. Apparently I have to click OK to the setting success for it to restart. That's good to know. Login info. I can change the password from here. That's good. Which I almost certainly will. Okay, that's back connected. I mean, I like the... I mean, the interface is actually not that bad, and the colors are fairly decent, oddly enough. I have the ability to flip things around. Mirror things. Blink. I actually have some options here for colors and so on. PTZ, uh, it's controls, some presets, you know, in the case if I need a preset. All right, now what happens if I, ooh, I did not give myself a very long cord to do this, did I? Put this where it's dark. going to turn this um it seems to have its own light that must be the night vision capabilities that's neat okay 
So this seems to be working so far. So I have one last thing I'm going to try, and that is to set this up in an actual location. So I'll be back. Now I have to figure out how to stop all of this. Ugh. Also, I still haven't figured out how to record, so I'm actually gonna figure that out first. So enlarge, in beginning. Well, first, let me get it back to regular. Pointed at my face, wrong direction. I go ahead and reset. Oh, that's not just reset, it is actually going to redo its calibration, okay. There we go, okay. So, pivot toward me so I can see myself. And time to fill around, enlarge, enlarge. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. These don't seem to do anything. Focus in. Maybe these are for other cameras because I'm not seeing any change whatsoever. Okay, why is recording not working? So the thing I was looking for in settings Record management. Uh, let's see. Getting cam. Please choose channels. Please choose channels. Maybe I need to create that path, that T record path. Can I edit it? Because that would be nice. No. It's not actually possible to edit that path. Okay. I can make this work still. T-record, properties, security. Uh, let's see, admins have admin rights, okay. That should be good enough. General record length of five minutes. I want 30 minute recordings. And X264 is the format I would like it in. Image capture path, let's actually put this on a drive. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll put it in Admin Spoon's desktop just because. Good for you. Okay, maybe now it will actually record. So, record. Still not recording at all. Photo? Have you actually done anything whatsoever? No, no you have not. Really? How do I record? I don't understand. In theory, I'd be able to record from the... Disable the plan of the record. Oh, that's what it wanted. Okay. So, everything. Okay. Save. Save. Maybe. Record? No. Has no choose disk. Is it actually trying to record to the SD card? Because that would be obnoxious if that's the case. Is it actually recording? 
It's recorded. Woo! Dot two six four. Okay. How about you open this with VLC? VLC has no idea what these things are. And that's not a good sign because VLC knows what everything is. Biggest one is this one. Nothing. Okay, so it records in its own built in player. It's and it has audio, so that's good. Now, what the hell is this 264 format? I was assuming it was H264, but apparently not. Let's find out. 264. Ah, uh, yep. If record format is 264, you must use manufacturer's player to play back record. Ah, so the no hard disk space coverage is just it overwriting when you run out of disk space. That's actually good. That would be the way I would want it set up anyway. So what happens if I change that from 264 to AVI? You know, I'd prefer H.264, but you know, AVI is at least a standard that I can deal with. So let's try this recording, shall we? I'm gonna turn away from the laptop and just record in this to see how well it works. Let's find out. I know it's only recording at 720p for some reason that I don't understand because it totally advertised 1080p. But, uh, let's find out, shall we? Good kitten internet. I'm me. I'm the future. Actually, the past. Definitely the past by the time you get this. See how well that works? As I knock into the router. Alright, there's an AVI file here. There's two of them. That's weird. Well, that's a success in my book. I can make this work now. Um, I can have it record, although I'm not sure what happens if I have multiple cameras, if it would end up just recording them all on one video feed, which to be fair it would be okay if it was recording at a high enough resolution. I don't want four video feeds totaling 720p. Four separate 720p video feeds is what I would want. Or three, actually, but whatever. In case, I hope this video was enlightening. Um, I'm not really using all of the functions of this device like I was intending. And I am going to do one last bit of actually setting this up in the correct location to see how all of this works. So, I'll be back.